Welcome to KISS, keeping it simple with Single Path. I'm Bill Borbis, and I'm joined by Ian Despoju, Senior Director of Information Technology at American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Ian is a visionary who will be leading ASPS on a journey to become 100% software as a service, or SaaS, enabled by 2023. Ian, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bill. So Ian, before we get into your SaaS strategy, the last time we spoke, you provided some very interesting insights on how you view technology. Would you be able to share some of this with our listeners? The way I view te- uh, technology is uh, not necessarily in, and I was telling you earlier, it's not, uh, you know, I don't think the business cares so much about, you know, what kind of technology, but how technology can enable them, you know, can um, add to the bottom line. So that's how I look at um, uh, technology, right? So I, I care less the word. The business care, uh, cares less about, you know, am I using Windows or am I using, um, you know, Linux? They don't care as long as it's working, right? And so um, that's, that's how I see things. They don't care about the cloud, if I'm in the cloud or I'm not in the cloud. They're just looking at the benefits. They're drawing from, uh, from the technology that we have in place. And um, as I shared with you last time, we did uh, change our name. We rebranded from information technology to business technology because we, not only ourselves, we, we want to see, um, we want to see ourselves as, you know, business enabler, enablers with technology. Um, but also the business need to look at us uh, with different eyes, right? Because we have done for uh, so many years, we came out of that, um, y- you know, uh, being the back office kind of um, workers, right? Or taking orders. Yeah, I need a mouse. So I need, um, y- you know, uh, a new keyboard. So. When we're no longer just that, we're so much more, and we can help the business um, with so much more, right? We can help the business, um, you know. I mean, and that's our intent to add to the bottom line, and um, we have four major goals, right? Um, and, and these are not the technology goals. If you, um, when I share that, uh, share them with you, you will see that they're more business-like goals. And one of the goals that we have is expand membership reach and engagement. The second one is strengthen staff digital capabilities. Um, the third one is improve operational efficiencies. And then the fourth is fuel innovation. And technology, of course, um, is what's going to enable us to do these things. Um, but we don't care what technology. is how technology is going to touch on these four goals. Does it make sense? It does. So using technology as a tool to accomplish a strategy, exactly, rather exactly. than than the opposite. Exactly. And so um, that's uh, that's exactly what we have in mind, right? And w- with this, I- if you look at uh, technology with a business uh, through a business kind of lens, then you see things a little different, right? And you see things that you're doing that maybe you shouldn't be doing, or things that uh, you should be doing more of. So that's how I, I, I see the whole thing. So how did the the SaaS strategy come about? You know, it, it, I think it's fascinating because you're talking yeah. about going 100% SaaS by, by 2023. How did that come about and what are the drivers to move to 100% SaaS? Right. So our four goals that I share with mm-hmm. you, right? Um, we just need time. We need time and resources that we don't have. Right, so we thought one of the, 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 the one of our goals is to improve SPS operational efficiency, right? Help staff, but we don't have time to do that if we're in the business of upgrading servers, if we're in the business of keeping them secure, um, you know, and buying new hardware. That's why our move to the cloud helped us a lot. And as you know, we're 100% uh, cloud right now, and. Um, um, you know, we don't have any ser- any physical server. Everything is cloud-based, and so um, we can do that. We can help staff. We can improve operational efficiency, only if we're not doing all this nonsense. And you know, we don't have the expertise here to keep things secure, and we can leverage 
you know, the cloud. We can leverage experts who have done that. That is why we've moved a ton of them. Um, you know, not, not, not everything, but we do have um, several, um, you know, applications that we move to a SaaS model. And that's very, very helpful. You know, think of uh, Exchange, right? So once we moved Exchange to Office 365, that enabled us to uh, not worry about upgrading Exchange or, you know, keeping that secure. And uh, nope, that's done by Microsoft. And you know what? They have very strong, um, you know, folks who are just keeping our Exchange secure. So we don't have to do that. And we leverage so much more from, um, you know, what, they, what they're doing right now. So it's a matter of, of freeing up time and, and focusing on the things that enable the business versus keeping the lights on and, and keeping things running. Right, right, it, right. So we, we still need to keep the lights on, right? But um, um, we need to do less of, you know, um, keeping all this architecture, you know, uh, all this uh, hardware, all this, uh, you know, things that, that are somewhat... I don't know. It just doesn't make sense nowadays to, you know, it's 2019. And I don't think it makes sense for us to still spend time, you know, upgrading servers, you know, um, when everything is getting automated. So you're talking about RPAs. What can you automate, right? There are so many things you can automate. Why not this? And how do you automate this? Well, by going to a SaaS model. So that's how we do that. That's what, um, that's what we have in mind. So what are the challenges to going 100% SaaS? You know, obviously you went from physical servers to, you know, to virtual hosts and yeah, then you migrated yeah. to the cloud. What are the, what's the, what are the challenges that you're seeing, you know, going from that and taking the next step? You're right, right. There, there are a lot of challenges, right? Um, as with the move to, to the cloud. And I think, um, you know, as, as you find it everywhere, um, it's all about people, process and technology. And so with um, every strategy that you kind of want to move towards, you need to get your people on on board. If your people are not on board, forget about it. They're not going to be able to do anything. So that's a huge challenge. So you need to get everyone aligned um, with your strategy there. Um, We had a challenge when we were thinking about moving to the cloud to be 100% in the cloud because we have some team members who uh, they were not really on board. They wanted to invest more on the infrastructure here. So when you, um, you know, have those kind of challenges, when you don't have that kind of alignment, you need to make sure that, um, you know, you're, you, you put the right change in place to get that alignment, right? And then look at your processes. And then finally, technology. Is the technology there? Well, um, maybe not everything. Um, so... Our ERP system, uh, is it, uh, do they have a SaaS model? No. Uh, what about their roadmap? Are they going to have it in their roadmap? So our uh, roadmap is four years to be 100% SaaS. Now, if our um, ERP vendor, um, they don't have it in their roadmap to move to SaaS, maybe it's time for us to um, look at a different ERP vendor who is, um, you know, is provide a SaaS model. So that's what we uh, we kind of uh, looking to, and that's the challenge that that I'm seeing. One people, uh, you know, then processes that you have in place are they aligned with your vision to move to a SaaS model, and then technology. But you need to get your people um, kind of um, uh, aligned with your vision first. Makes sense. So what type of planning is involved? You already kind of mentioned looking forward with with. Um, your, your, your current vendors and if they're going to have a SaaS model in the, uh, the future, what other planning is involved? Yeah, that's exactly, um, you know, what we're doing right now. We're looking at um, everything that we have, every um, server, virtual server that we have and see, because we did get, so we have the people on board, you know, uh, everyone on the team, um, they, you know, we share the same vision, you know, SaaS is the way to go. We, and plus, no one uh, from my team enjoys upgrading servers or keeping them secure, you know, waking up at night to restart them. Plus, you know, we cannot, um, you know, offer 
we're not at that point. We don't have the expertise here to have a zero downtime with any Windows updates. or And so there is some kind of a maintenance that we have to go through. We want to get out of that business. You know, We're a small team, and we cannot be in that business. So, um, so we are aligned there, right? So no, no changes are needed. There is nothing else we need to do on that front. Um, it's going to be more on the technology side. So that's what we need to plan for. Um, we are looking at all the vendors that we have and seeing all the different technology. So let's say AD. Can we get rid of AD? Uh, that's another domain controller and see if we can somehow leverage um, um, Azure's AD, right? And then we don't really need a server for that. Um, then uh, we're going to look at uh, our CMS vendor, ERP vendor, like I said, and see if they have it in their roadmap. If not, um, what does it take for us to move? So that's, um, that's our plan. Makes sense. So what recommendations could you give? So maybe there's another company out there. They're also going to start this journey. What mm-hmm. recommendations could you give or impart on them so that they could um, uh, be successful on that, in that journey? Yeah, and um, as I said earlier, it starts with people, you know, um, people, process, and technology. Um, your people, your folks, your team needs to be on the same page with you. Um, everyone needs to be aligned. If you don't get uh, your folks aligned, it's not going to happen. Then look at your processes. Do you have your processes in place to support that kind of, um, you know, that kind of move, that kind of vision? Um, you know, if you don't have process in place, um, either you change them or you, know, you, you need to uh, align them with your vision and then look at technology. So those are key. Very good. Well, Ian, thank you so much. I think this is a very exciting what you're doing. It's going to be very, very um, exciting to watch as this, as this progresses. And um, thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you, Bill. It was a pleasure. Thank you for joining KISS, keeping it simple with Single Path. If you found our podcast valuable, please subscribe and comment. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and of course, singlepath.com. Thank you.